Hey guys, World Leader here. Today we will be unveiling the next familiar to join the bidverse, Kovu. Kovu will be joining us in celebrating eight years of Congiversary on the 26th of September, 2024. In this video, I will be showing you the art style for the familiar, the cost to craft, as well as their bonuses and move set. So right off the bat, the schematic is going to take three Kovalg and 20,000 gold. Now I know a lot of you veteran players out there may already know where to get Kovalg, but for those of you that don't, if we go to the quest tab up here in the top left, and you see here that we are in Ashvale, which which is going to be the fourth tier, the fourth zone. We are going to be farming the third dungeon or the fourth dungeon, which is unlocked after defeating the third dungeon. So the third dungeon here, Kovalg's Pit, is where you farm them. I prefer farming them here because of the extra capture rate, but it is honestly a lot more beneficial to farm here due to the fact that you do have other awesome epic familiars you could farm and get more gems and gold and experience, etc. But if you're really trying to hone down on getting Kovu as quickly as possible, I do believe Kovalg's Pit is probably the way to go. I'm going to be farming this here in the background while I go ahead and talk to you a little more about Kovu. But one more thing about Kovu is, yes, you can farm them in Tier 4, but once you defeat this dungeon, you automatically get placed into Tier 5, so just keep that in mind. So... Let's go ahead and check out their description. Their description reads, Kovu comes from the past to ruin the future, just like fossil fuels. They're going to be a legendary bait familiar, which is phenomenal, especially because you can start farming them as early as tier four, guys. Tier four legendary bait familiar. Just let that sink in already. Now their stat spread is going to be a power multiplier of 61%, a stamina multiplier of 24%, and an agility multiplier of 10%. Let's go ahead and check out the bonuses. They do have a 15% chance to combust attacker by 50% when you get hit. Right off the bat, combust on a tier four farmable familiar. That's awesome. How early can you access Combust other than with this familiar? Like, I can't even think about the tier. Like, to me, it's like, what, tier 13-ish? I can't remember, but that's pretty mid-game. That's very, very mid-game, if anything. So getting Combust this early is going to hit like a truck if it does proc, and I really like that that is an option on this familiar right off the bat. That is pretty awesome. Going into the second bonus, 10% Vampirism. My God, that's awesome. Um, I know a lot of you players out there love Vampirism. I love Vampirism. Vampirism on a tanky familiar to me is great. Gives you some more offensive capability. Gives you some more sustainability. It's, it's super nice. You just can't go wrong with Vampirism. They also do have a third bonus, which is going to be 5% Deflect. But just know, you can stack Deflect pretty good. And Deflect is a very, very nice bonus to have. Deflect is pretty reliable, even if it is stacked to only like 20-ish, 30-ish percent. So I think Deflect is pretty nice to have on this familiar. If you're worried about the low percent, you can always try something else. Like I know familiars come with a base 2.5% evade. You could always stack some more evade on there, or you can go the damage reduction route, which is a pretty safe route to go in my opinion. I highly recommend going damage reduction if you are afraid to go deflect or evade. And if you want to try them in PvP, I recommend trying all in power, see how it does, you never know. Um, seeing as they do have a bunch of offensive capabilities in their bonuses though, I would say a defensive brain is probably the way to go if you want to play it really, really safe. So that's pretty awesome. Um, you can always go with more offensive stuff and just have them be healed by your healer or DPS familiar or whatever. I think um, either way, you have multiple ways of playing this familiar, which is pretty awesome. So all in all, those bonuses to me are definitely a plus. Now, we're going to go ahead and move on to their moves. For their first move, Malevolent Surge. It's going to be a 0 SP drain closest for 25% two times. Now... I know some players don't like having to be forced to attack because they're afraid to proc brains or pets, but understand this. This is tier four, accessible, tier five farm if we're being technical. Tier five farm. You're gonna be in tier five with Kovu at the earliest, which is kind of where it's intended to be at for now. You're not really gonna be dealing with too much of that that early on. It's only gonna be in PVP where you really kind of experience that. So to me, that doesn't really matter. 
and even then there is a workaround with this familiar that I'll tell you later on. So that very standard drink closest for 25% two times to me is definitely a plus because one more sustain and two it's an offensive capability that still heals you so that's pretty nice. Going on to their second move Phantom Claw. It's going to be a 1 SP combust random for 293% and recoil for 29.3%. Now the recoil, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe can proc your brains. So if you have an offensive brain and you recoil, I do believe, not too sure, but I do believe you can proc your own brain with that, making this a lot more viable than it already is. So going back to the first part of this move, combust random, first off, Random usually hits the hardest out of any other moveset in the game because it is a chance at hitting a random familiar. You can't pick it. It's not guaranteed. You could be hitting the tank. You could be hitting the bait. You could be hitting the DPS or healer. Who knows? So it usually has a very, very high percent depending on what it is. So it's very, very nice to see that. Not to mention it also combusts. So that move is pretty nice. I'm going to say right now that is probably going to be their best move very very nice move i can't get enough of that move just looking at it it's like wow i know i'm going to be using it for sure if i need to finish something off and it happens to be kovu's turn so very very nice move in my opinion now going on to the third move obsidian fury it's going to be a 2 sp fury self for 180 percent and gain 2 sp now this is the workaround i was talking about just in case you didn't like their zero sp it costs 2 sp to use obsidian fury but you also gain 2 SP. So once you get to this 2 SP, if you really don't want to attack the enemy team, you don't have to. You can just keep spamming Obsidian Fury just to avoid hitting anything. And at the same time, you'll keep putting Fury on yourself. I don't know if it stacks. I don't believe it does. But you'll still be, you know, safe and not attacking the enemy team. Just in case you come across something that you really just don't want to hit with Kovu, that is a way to save yourself. So to me, that is pretty awesome. I really like that about this familiar. It gives you a little workaround. It also buffs him up. So I like this a lot. That third move is definitely going to be used in some harder content for those of you that see the niche I'm talking about. And also, if you don't, don't worry. The Fury Self is still pretty awesome to use on Phantom Claw or any of their awesome movesets. So let's go ahead and check out the fourth move, which is Fiery Tendrils. It's a 3 SP Combust Random for 33% but it also says bounce five times now i'm not sure if bounce has been in the game yet or not or if it's just a different lingo for ricochet or what but if it's ricochet that's pretty cool um if it's something different and it's something i'm unaware of i'm pretty excited to see what bounce does so not sure if it's a new mechanic or what but it does say here combust random for 33 percent and bounce five times pretty excited to see that move um, not to mention it combusts, so that's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and check out Void Embrace, which is going to be their fifth and final move. It's going to be a 4 SP Heal Self for 201% and Cleanse. Yes, it's a 4 SP Heal Self, but it is also a Cleanse. So you have to understand, a Cleanse is very, very viable. And like I said, you can just keep spamming Obsidian Fury and get your SP as your turns pass to not hit anything. You'll be furying yourself. You'll stay at that 2 SP plus the SP you gain over your turns and you'll eventually get to Void Embrace. So to me, it's not going to be the easiest move to use, but when you get to use it, it could possibly really, really help you out. But you have to also understand you're going to be getting a lot of sustainability from other sources like your 0 SP if you want to use your 0 SP, any of the other brains or pets that your familiars or your character have that are procking onto them or even their own brain if they have a defensive brain. So there are plenty of ways to get heals off on your familiar, not having to really rely on this one. So I think it's still very, very nice. They also do have that built-in vampirism. So this is still a very nice move. And you gotta remember guys, tier five farm, tier four accessible. So this all in all is a very, very solid familiar. A bait familiar in tier five 
we've been needing something like this so if you guys need to farm for a bait this is the best time to farm guys i'm being real with y'all this could probably take you pretty late game so i recommend trying it i'm definitely going to try it. i'm farming up as many kovalks as possible i'm going to try to have a full four stack and see how that performs in a lot of different areas of content and i really do hope to see some of y'all farm them as well to me they not only have awesome stats and moves and bonuses but they also look pretty cool too i know some of you already saw the thumbnail but let me go ahead and show you them here on screen kovu is pretty sick now i'm pretty sure some of you may know where the inspiration might have came from but just in case some of y'all don't know i do believe this is a spin on aku from samurai jack which to me is pretty cool i love that cartoon as a kid and honestly if i saw it again i'd probably still like it right now i think it's pretty cool the art style is cool the inspiration is cool and i just can't wait to see the animation in game all in all this familiar is very very hyped to me and i hope you guys are hyped for him as well we'll be able to farm him as early as the 26th of september 2024 on congiversary so i hope to see you all there thank you so much for stopping by this is world eater have a great one guys peace